Hey guys, Greenberg here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Just wanted to do a quick update on the quail cages and the quails and let you know where everything is. I've made a couple of adjustments. I don't think I have um, I have recorded. I haven't been uh, recording a lot of videos lately. It's been unseasonably cold and rainy and I've just had a lot going on so uh, I apologize for that but that will change. But I wanted to show you a few things. I don't think I had this on camera last time I did a video was these new watering systems and if the filming if the camera jumps around a little bit I apologize but these guys uh, all of a sudden decided that they want to escape whenever possible those ones right there need some more food it's empty I can tell but these new uh, watering systems that I got got a bunch of them from Amazon they came in a bag uh, really handy I don't know if you can see because they're kind of in the way but um, you just take those that plastic piece and you squeeze it into or you, I'm sorry you take that plastic piece and you screw it into like a, a liter bottle or anything that that accepts. I find the liter bottles work the best. They don't leak um, like some of the square bottles do. I tried a, an old hydrogen peroxide, cleaned out hydrogen peroxide bottle and that did not work well. These quail are way over, um, you know, over packed for the size of the hutches that they're in and I do plan on building a new hutch. These guys over here don't seem to eat as much but Sadly, part of that is because there's not as many quail in this one as there is the other one. And as I'm looking, I'm noticing that I'm, I have a high ratio of roosters, so I should probably get the incubator going. But, um, you know, once they start producing fertile eggs. But I came out one morning and I noticed that I had three dead birds in the cage. And what I had done is I had had a storage bin underneath here collecting the droppings because on this particular one I just didn't have a tray like I do over here so I put the bin under there and that, that was just my fault I, I didn't think of the fact that something would jump in that bin and reach up you know in that I don't know what is this one by two maybe yeah probably one by two and uh, so that's what was happening something jumped in that bin and reached in there and got it and in fact last night uh, late at night when the lights came on I have motion lights on the chicken coop See if I can see him, get him there. Yeah, one there and one over on that side. Had come on and when I put the flashlight on, it was like three o'clock in the morning. When I put the flashlight out there, I saw a big fox, a beautiful fox, uh, but it was checking out the birds. It wanted to see what was going on. I don't know if that was it or if it was a raccoon or what it was, but um, anyway, to fix the problem, what I did was I just took a piece of plywood, took, took some pine, some pine wood actually. I think this is pine, I don't know what it is, a scrap wood of some sort. Just nailed it on there, or screwed it in there uh, temporarily. It took, took a piece of plywood, probably, you know, I guess this is probably worth about a hundred bucks right now, right? And uh, that, that seems to be working well. They can't get from, can't get up underneath there anymore. And um, it's just temporary. I'm gonna have to fix it because it's a pain to clean. I have to literally have to clean this every, every day or it starts to pile up. Uh, but the most exciting part, and again, I apologize if the camera jumps around because these guys used to just kind of do their thing and now they're uh, deciding they want to jump out any opportunity they get so my priority is to keep as many quail as I have but I have been oh there's a couple of roosters nope there's one rooster see him right there beautiful look at those markings on his face another one right there two roosters in there and a hen right in the middle I think that's a hen in the middle I can't tell for sure won't know it won't turn around it's a little scared but they're producing eggs I'm gonna go ahead and lock this real quick uh, this is not a good system like I said I'm in the process of um, getting the materials to make a, a better hutch I'll, I'll explain that in a second but this is what the quail eggs look like this is a pretty big one beautiful eggs though aren't they I've been told, and I don't know if this is true, but I've been told that the markings on a quail egg um, are unique, or can be unique, based upon the hen, and that it will lay an egg with similar markings each time. I don't know if that's true or not. Kind of a cool fun fact, though. But so, back to the hutch, these hutches. I mean, they've, they've served me well, for sure. My poor birds are way overcrowded. So I'm going to make one probably not quite twice the size of this, but maybe a, instead of the, the two hutches, maybe a, the length of a third one. I'm going to make them not as tall, 
okay, probably, I don't know, probably about there. Just enough so I can still use that water bottle and uh, make them with some really good solid wooden frame doors that I, with hinges that I can maybe just lift up and get in there when I need to. But um, this has been really a really good experience. And like I said, these hutches have served me well and I still have them for if I decide to raise some rabbits. So anyway, guys, I hope everyone's doing awesome out there. I'm so excited to be getting quail eggs. This is only the fourth egg we've gotten, maybe the fifth. I can't recall. I'm just saving them up. But uh, yeah, super excited. So I don't know what my next video will be, if it will be uh, the new hutch or maybe uh, the first time I process one of these guys. But um, I'll be doing more videos, some quail, some flint napping. I'm kind of all over the place right now, so let me know what you think and what you'd like to see. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing awesome. Have a good one. Green Bird out.